If you are new here, I'm Kelly. This is my best friend, Christina. Today we have a video for you all about some tricks and tips to help hide those fat or flabby arms. Now for a lot of us, this is an area that we are a little bit insecure about. Maybe you had some weight gain or some weight loss. As we age, the skin in that area, it tends to just get looser, creating what are sometimes known as bat wings, and it can just be something that makes us feel really uncomfortable in our clothing. So these little fashion tips and hacks are really going to help you to feel your absolute best about your arms without hours in the gym. One of my favorite tricks is, if you can't tone it, tan it. So stay tuned, I will definitely share with you guys my favorite little bronzing trick. Absolutely, and Kelly and I, we really get to enjoy our bat wings every single time we say hello to you ladies <laughs> and goodbye to you ladies. So if you are new here, definitely consider subscribing. If you are someone who loves fashion, we create haul videos, tips and tricks videos. We come up with videos two times a week, every Sunday and Thursday, and we would love to have you join the Mommy's Makeup and Moscato family. So this first tip is one that I really utilize, and that is wearing off-the-shoulder tops that have a little ruffle. So this is a perfect example of one of those tops. I love this style because it allows me to highlight the part of my arms that I feel the most confident in, which is my shoulders, and it covers up with this little ruffle the part of the arm that isn't very toned and that I feel a little bit insecure about. So it's feminine, but it really hides all the things that I want to hide. So this is a great trick if you are struggling with that area as well. I'll make sure to link this one. It comes in a ton of colors and it is super budget friendly. So our next tip is using a third layering piece. And this is one that Kelly and I use so much. So during the spring and the summer months, we might use a light cardigan or a kimono. During the cooler months, it could be anything from a blazer to a cargo jacket to an even heavier uh, cardigan. This really helps us to conceal our arms, conceal the most insecure parts that we have about our arms. Having that long layering piece will also draw the eyes to the center of the body, really helping to elongate it and pulling your eyes away from your arms where you're secure, insecure about. So this is just an easy trick, one that we use a lot and one that will also really help you just to feel more confident and comfortable when you're out in public. So one of the tricks that Christina and I both love for helping to conceal some upper arm insecurities are three quarter length sleeves. There are a few ways that you can achieve a three quarter length sleeve. So the first one is shopping for tops that stop right at that like elbow area of the arm. First, that's going to help a lot by just concealing the area that you are insecure about. The other way that that helps is it really helps to highlight the part of the arm that maybe you feel more confident about, the lower part of the arm. And it also draws the eye in to right around that waist area where your sleeve is touching your arm. You're also pulling everything in and helping to create some shape. So this is a really great trick. If you have a long sleeve shirt, you can create a three quarter length sleeve by just rolling up the sleeves to that area. So this is definitely one that we use a lot and now we know why we like it so much. Another easy tip is to open the neck area. So by opening the neck area, you're really drawing attention away from your arms and towards your neck and your face. And an easy way to do this is to have different necklines. So it can be a V neckline, a scoop neckline. It can even be a sweetheart or a square neckline. By having these different kinds of necklines that expose more skin in the chest and in the neck area. It's really just highlighting and bringing the focus to your neck, to your chest area, and to your face and drawing tension away from your arms. So another tip for helping your arms to appear smaller is by choosing smaller prints. So I'm sure you've heard us talk about this before. Larger prints will make things appear larger. Smaller prints will bring the eye in and make things appear smaller. So if you are choosing to wear a print on top and you're having some issues with your arm insecurities, then make sure you choose a small print. It will actually help to make things appear smaller. So that can be a print that is just on the arms or a full print all over your top, tiny little florals, tiny little polka dots, things like that are really going to help to draw the eye in and make that area appear smaller. 
So another easy way to conceal your arms is by using colors and that's wearing a darker colors on top and lighter colors on the bottom. So by using colors to create the illusion that you have a smaller upper body, it's just an easy and effortless way to conceal your arms. And this doesn't have to be just the color black on top and lighter colors on the bottom. These can really also be darker shades that you're wearing on top. So by doing this, you're drawing tension away from your upper body and instead focusing it on your lower body away from the insecurity that you have with your arms. So we've shared with you lots of do's. Now we're going to share with you a don't, which is avoid cap sleeves. You don't want to go for a cap sleeve. A cap sleeve are those sleeves that hit you and cut you off right at the widest part of the arm. So if you are trying to minimize that arm area, if you're insecure about some arm fat, the last thing that you want is a line drawn right there highlighting that widest part of your arm. You're really going to want to find a top that hits you in a smaller part of your arm. You want that line to highlight an area that is thinner rather than the widest part of your arm. So definitely avoid cap sleeves. They just are not a good idea for concealing upper arm fat. So another easy way that you can conceal arm fat is using a flutter sleeve detail. Now I have to warn you, you don't want to use this detail if it's with a cap sleeve. Kelly's already told you, cap sleeves are not allowed, so you don't want to use a flutter sleeve there. Instead, you want this flutter sleeve detail to hit you lower down on your arm, where your arm starts to already naturally slim out. This really will help to conceal all of that arm area and really highlight smaller parts of your arm. So this is a delicate detail. It's one that's very pretty, very feminine. It's for sure on trend and will help to really make you feel more confident because you're covering up the areas that you're insecure about and highlighting the areas that are much more delicate and slimmer. So another thing you're going to want to avoid are strapless tops and dresses. Now that might sound a little funny that we're recommending off the shoulder, but why not strapless? And the reason for that is there's such a difference in what these two items will do for your upper arm area. With off the shoulder, you're really able to conceal those insecurities with a little layer, a little ruffle, and highlight those shoulders. However, when you take away that ruffle and you wear something that is fully strapless, you're really just highlighting your insecurities. You are now exposing all of that upper arm area. Any bra fat in this little area here is really on display and that becomes the focus of the outfit. So if you're insecure about your upper body, about your arm fat, bat wings, whatever we like to call them, make sure you avoid wearing anything strapless. It is not going to do you any favors. So another trick is to highlight your wrists. By highlighting your wrists, you're drawing attention away from your upper arms down to the smallest, daintiest part of your arm. And so you can do this by wearing jewelry, everything from, you know, stacked bracelets or even, you know, uh, different gemstones. You can also have watches. It can even be details on your sleeves. There might be a little bit of a ruffle detail on the bottom of your sleeve or even a tie detail. By drawing the attention down towards your wrist, it really is just highlighting the feminine part of your arm and keeping the attention away from your upper arms. And now for the bonus tip, I promised I would share with you my little bronzing trick for making myself feel more secure about my arm area. One of the things that I love to use is this body blur. This is a lotion. It does not have self tanner in it. It is a bronzing lotion. So it has some color in it. This comes in different shades and I use this just like you would a moisturizer to rub on my shoulders, my arm area. But what I love about this is if you think about it in the same way that you use makeup to contour and highlight, this bronzing lotion can be used to do that with the body. So if you want to contour that arm area that you feel like is a little flabby, make it look a little bit more toned, just putting a little bit of a darker body lotion in that area and rubbing that in can really help to make your arms look a little slimmer and a little more toned and defined. So I love it. I'll make sure to link it for you guys if you're looking for something and please just keep in mind with all of these tips we are not suggesting that there is anything wrong with having larger arms you should be confident in your skin that you are in this is strictly for women who are looking for some tips and tricks to help feel more confident if they are insecure with their arms 
So we hope you enjoyed these tips and tricks for disguising that upper arm area. And if it is an area that you are struggling with, we hope these will make you feel your absolute best in your clothing. And make sure you join us next time. And until then, bye. bye.